Why do you believe what the Bible says is true? Isaiah 53 is one. Do you think Isaiah 53 yeah. speaks about Jesus? Yes. He shall see his offspring, he shall prolong his days. Two yeah. points there. Prolonging his days, he's going to live for a long time. Number two, he will see his children. That is complete opposite to what happened to Jesus. Someone who died at 33, you guys believe. So he died very young. And also, he didn't have any children. So that is the reason I would say it's impossible for you to use this verse to apply to him. Up to nine. Let me, let me, okay, we go to nine. Nine. We go to nine. Do you know it? I know, I know. Wherever you go, I know. Don't worry. Have you read all of this? I have to read it. Have you Honestly, I have to read it. I'll show you why also Isaiah doesn't fit just like 53. First, he never sat on the throne of David. There was no everlasting peace, which you, the Jews are expe expecting from the Messiah. Jesus never did. He came on a donkey. That's why they criticized him. He said, you come into Jerusalem on a donkey. You're not the king of the Jews. So he did not fulfill the criteria. The second reason is that he was never called by anyone because it says his name will be called. He was never called wonderful counselor, everlasting father, prince of peace, anywhere in the New Testament.